time is 7.54 a.m. Good morning. The news headline. Opinion. Inambikanu should be pardoned on conditions that he will drop agitation. It is no longer news that IPOP and ESN leader Inambikanu is still in the DSS net after being apprehended in another African country a few months ago. Prior to his rearrest and extradition, the IPOP founder had already jumped bail and departed the country for the UK. All of these have now passed. The IPOP leader is awaiting outcome of another cat hearing. Whether or not the cat hearing results in his favor, he should be left alone to carry his cross because he invited the trouble with his own ends. The Nigerian government has already proscribed the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP as an unlawful group with illicit sophisticated weapons used to carry out their nefarious actions in the southeast region. The organization has made life in the region miserable for residents by engaging in terror acts and destroying public property. These are some of the reasons why Nabekanu and his supporters should face the law agitating for Biafra should not be with guns and bullets. He approached agitation in the wrong way and he deserves to face the full wrath of law. However, the federal government can still pardon him on one condition that it will stop his agitation and work the government in order to make Southeast region a better place to live. Nigerians and Igbos, in a particular, are peace-loving people with beautiful cultures and traditions that is well known all over the world. The mistake that resulted in the civil war uh, should not be allowed to be repeated. In the canon was greatly deceived and influenced by mischief makers who want to destroy the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Though most of us didn't witness the civil war, but the stories we heard and the things we learned made us believe that the war was indeed horrific. Nigeria is better off as a single entity. Now the canon should have a rethink and seek advice from the experienced ones. Children during the Afran war, minority children as a result of the civil war, source daily times. Igbo presidency is what in Abdekanu and his supporters in the southeast should be clamoring for, even if you are fighting for a cause that are more effective methods to do it without arming the interest of the ordinary man. The federal government has nothing bad against in Abdekanu, other man, other than the ash method he approached Biafra. However, if he is pardoned, it should be with the agreement that he will cease its agitation and form a partnership with the Nigerian government to promote peace and unity in the southeast. This is uh Niger 247 News, uh, where a writer is actually you know uh saying that the, the uh arrest of Inabdekanu was actually fair enough because we is yard against you know uh separating the country and that it can be pardoned only if he you know uh agrees to drop the agitation for uh, the Biafra and instead uh, gear that energy in clamoring for an Igbo uh, presidency or that it would work with the federal government of Nigeria to ensure uh, peace. The writer says that he has that he should be left alone to carry his cross because he invited trouble with his own hands, saying that the organization has made life in the region miserable for residents in engaging terror acts and destroying public uh, property. He said that agitating for Biafra should be with gun, uh, should not be with guns and bullets, whereby uh, Inabdekanu has approached agitations in the wrong way and that he deserves to face the wrath of law. But the federal government can still pardon him only on the condition of he, you know, surrendering uh, the self uh, determination agitation. He said that uh, if you remember, although most of them as at that time, even in Abdekanu, were babies because they only heard about the stories and the things that they learned was that the civil war was indeed a horrific one and that Nigeria is better off as a single entity and that in Abdekanu needs uh, to have a rethink and listen to the experienced ones who have illustrated what happened in the uh, civil war. And you know, there was a review by Africa Report about the arrest of Inadekanu, who is a self-acclaimed freedom fighter and the leader of this essentialist organization 
demanding for Igbo ethnic group uh, to break away from Nigeria so as to form an independent republic of Niger of Biafra, Ipo. You know, he was arrested and extradited back to Abuja on Tuesday, June 29, just as Nigerians were trying to digest the shocking news of Inabekanu's arrest. The Nigerian government quickly arraigned him in court, where a federal judge declared that he should be remanded on the 26th of July, where his trial is scheduled to resume. And this poses a setback for the separate list leader once again, where more than four years ago, he was released from prison on bail, and since then, he continued to evade arrest by Nigerian security operatives, partly due to his residency in the UK, where he holds a British citizenship. And there is no official information on the exact, uh, on the exact location where Inadekanu was arrested, but local media quoted the British High Commission as saying IPOP leader was picked up outside the UK before being extradited. However, reliable, uh, reliable sources have said that he was actually extradited from Kenya. And Nigerian Minister of Justice Abuba Kamalami, who announced Kanu's arrest, said he was intercepted through the collaborative effort of Nigerian Te Inte Intelligence and Security Services and will continue to face a trial that started in 2015. Said the IPOB leader was first arrested in October 2015 following years of campaign for Biafra and he was subsequently charged with alleged terrorism, treasonable felony and illegal possession of fire and firearms and after six months in detention was granted bail on health conditions and other stringent conditions which included not granting it abuse or appearing in a crowd more than 10 people. Kano flouted most of his bill conditions before fleeing Nigeria and after a failed attempt by the military to arrest him at his residence in the southeast state of Abia in November 2017. When he returned to the courtroom on Monday, wearing a Fendi tracksuit and void of any of his lawyers, he was accompanied by heavily armed security operatives. There, he told the judge that he might have been killed by Nigerian soldiers at each state in the country. His legal team issued a statement after the court's appearance, insisting that no matter the gravity of the offenses or charges against him, Section 36, Subsection 5 of the Constitution still presumes him innocent of the allegation. And Maxwell Okpara, a member of Kanu's defense team, tells the Africa report that they should have not been briefed about his arrest, much less his arraignment, echoing concern over the manner in which the Ibuaris administration has handled in Abdekanu's case.